Hello, welcome to my uh, part two of this video I did two years ago. I can't believe it's been that long, but it has. Um, a lot of people didn't actually get the help they wanted from this because uh, they didn't see I forgot my pin or, or there could have been a lot of other issues. So if you haven't seen this video, I suggest you do that before you watch this because this is a part two, yeah, a continuation of this of this video. But yeah, so what I'm going to try to do in this video is add another sign-in option um, so that you don't get this. This sign-in option is disabled. You might still get that, but then you'd at least be able to click on a different sign-in option uh, when logging into your PC. Yeah, so the first thing you're going to do is open settings. This is easy by just pressing your Windows button and going down here and click settings. Uh, once you're here, you can see my account up here. If you do not have an account up here, uh, I suggest you make an account, right? Uh, so there should be add Microsoft account up here or something like that. If there's not, just go into account and there should be something in there, right? So accounts, right under phone, right above search, accounts. And you have your info here. You should be able to log in with your Microsoft account if you haven't already, uh, or a local account. I don't suggest doing local account uh, because this might not work with a local account. So if you can log in with your Microsoft account, that's perfect. Um, and after you've done that, either your problems are just fixed like that, or you can go into sign in options here, right? That's the main thing, the sign in options. And there are a lot of sign in options here. Uh, ways to sign into your device, right? So a lot of you probably only have one of these, which is either password or Windows Hello PIN. I suggest you adding as many as possible. Security key, probably not. Um, probably not necessary, but I suggest if you have fingerprint on your device, adding that, or if you have face ID, whatever, camera, whatever, right? I suggest you add that. But the main thing is uh, Windows Hello PIN and password, right? Um, there is also something called picture password that I just noticed, which uh, which might also work actually. So you can add that as well. I don't really know what it is and I don't really care because I don't need it. But if it's the only one you can do, then I suggest you do that because it, it might help. I'm not 100% certain. Um, so yeah, that should work. It uh, it will take you to um, Microsoft's website, right? Uh, which is also another way to do this. If you go to Microsoft.com and go to your account and my and Microsoft account, if you're not logged in, then you should probably do that first. But yeah, just log into your account and go to your Microsoft account, uh, and then you get this dashboard uh, with a lot of different things, right? But the main thing you're going to focus on is um, is security, Microsoft security. It's right here, or it's also right here on the side. Uh, either way uh, works. But yeah, just click on security and click, uh, click on security dashboard. Right. And then here, you're going to focus on advanced security, se <laughs> advanced security options. Um, and just click get started. And in here, you're probably not going to see as many sign-in options as me. But this is basically ways to prove who you are. Um, and I would suggest you adding, again, as many as possible. But the main thing is the use your Windows PC, right? And click on that. And then uh, you just click Next, and you probably log in. Yeah, you log in with your... Uh, Microsoft account again, your password, just make sure you are who you are. And for me, it says something went wrong. You have already registered this key for your account, which is fine. If you get this and it still doesn't work, then uh, then I'm not really sure what to do. But it probably won't say this unless you don't have this problem. So yeah, I'm just going to click cancel. So yeah, once you've added uh, the Windows pin, face or fingerprint, 
uh, then it should technically work when you log in next time and it says the sign in option has been disabled or is disabled um you should just be able to uh, to click on a different sign in option uh, either to enter a, a password or a uh, or a pin code and then you should, like yeah so if it uh, if the pin code is disabled just log in with with your uh, password instead it should be a um a different square beside it uh, above or below the um the input where you put your password in whatever so yeah just 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 try right um but yeah i really hope this video was able to to help a lot of you uh, if my first video didn't help you right uh, if it did please leave a like and please tell me if it worked if it didn't work then uh, please tell me why and i'll try make a, a different video and update because I've already done all of these things, so I'm not really sure how it looks on your side. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, uh, and I really hope it was helpful.